Hello YouTube and a very special hello to all my subscribers. My name is Phil and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about three websites that I have that follow the Project 24 method. So one of the sites it's month 10 and for the other two sites we're into month 5. So I'm going to give you some numbers and tell you exactly how many page views I have and also how much money I've made and how much money I've paid. Okay, so let's talk about site one. Uh, so site one is my main Project 24 website, which I started back in May of 2019. So we're into uh, just the end of month 10 now. Uh, I've got 83 posts up, which is a little short of what I wanted. Um, to be honest, I was hoping to have more than 100 posts at the moment, but I've been a little bit distracted uh, with the other sites. So I'm hoping that in the next couple of months I can uh, get back on track with that. So the breakdown for those 83 posts are 53 are response posts, so around 1500 words. But in fact, most of my response posts are nearer to 2000 words in length. Uh, I've got 19 staple posts and 11 pillar posts. So um, if you break that down to how much time it takes to write that, it's about 106 hours I would have spent writing the response posts, about 76 hours to write the staple posts, 88 hours to write those pillar posts, so that's about 270 hours of writing time, give or take. Um, I, I suppose I'm quite a fast typer, but there are certain things within this niche that I had to do a lot of research about. Uh, I do have a YouTube channel for this one, uh, for this site, but I've not really touched it in several months. It's still only got 13 videos on it. It's on my to-do list. Uh, although I do have other YouTube projects that, that are on at the moment. At the moment, I'm only monetizing this site with Amazon uh, links, but uh, in Project 24, we've recently just had a great deal with Ezoic, uh, one of the ad networks, and now as a Project 24 member, we can get into that program at a very low page view. So I've actually sort of gone over the threshold that uh, Jim and Ricky uh, recommend to start putting ads on the, the website. And so that's something I'm going to put into effect in the next month or so. So these are the page views for this month. And as you can see, I've smashed through that barrier of 2000 page views. And um, you can also see that organic traffic is not too far behind. So uh, all users uh, counted its 2093 page views uh, and organic uh, users is 1,891 so I'm getting about 90% organic traffic at the moment which is pretty good and you can see that I've got um, a time on page of over five minutes and the bounce rate is around the 88% mark um, so if you have a look here you can see it's March the 1st to the 31st I'm actually filming this on the 31st and you can see there's a bit of a, a drop here but that's because um, well, for me, it's nearly evening time, but this is uh, based on US time, so I think it's sort of mid-afternoon there. So um, I still haven't got all the page views for today, but still, I think that's pretty good for a month. It's kind of creeped up on me. It's um, it's definitely gone up uh, in the last couple of weeks. I did have a little bit of a, a, a a little bit of a dip, I suppose, because of what's happening at the moment. But I'm quite surprised in the last sort of two weeks. Um, the page views have gone up quite steadily, so I'm quite excited about that. So if we have a look at this month compared to last month, okay, so we can see here that uh, we're looking at uh, the month of March 2020 compared to February 2020. Um, so it's a little bit confusing, but I've got all the page views and just organic page views. So if we have a look at this, um, we can see that all page views across the board have gone up about 37%. So I got 1,521 in February compared to 2,094 uh, this month. Um, but in terms of organic traffic, that was a difference of, so 1,340 to 1,892. So um, it's gone up 41% in organic traffic apparently. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, apparently I've taken a little bit of a hit in terms of um, time on page. So it's, um, it's not too bad, but maybe I should keep my eye on that. And the, the bounce rate also seems to have, um, well, reduced. So it's gone down by just under 2%, 1.5%. So that's pretty good. Um, so again, I've got that complete massive drop off the, uh, 
the cliff there, but that is just because I'm filming on uh, the 31st, so still waiting for those page views to come in. So the thing with this site, I think, is that it's perhaps not growing as quickly as may have been predicted or suggested it might do by income school, but that's also uh, because of me, I, I didn't really put a lot of effort into um, YouTube. Um, with Pinterest, I'm only just now getting a couple of views, um, but that's also because for about three or four months, uh, my account was um, blocked, it was um, deactivated. I got it activated again. If this has happened to you, I've got another video that you can check out, which tells you how to uh, reactivate a Pinterest account. Um, but I'm pretty confident with this. It's slow and steady progress. Every single month, the page views are going up. Um, it might only be 10, 20, 30 percent, but over time I'm hoping that's going to get me to a stage where it's going to start making some real money. Okay, so let's talk about site two. So site two, uh, if you're one of my regular viewers, you know that this is on the wedding site. Uh, so my wife and I, were, we're already married, we got married in June of 2019. We were supposed to be having a big family wedding uh, in about two days time. But because of what's happening at the moment, uh, none of my family can fly into Taiwan from the UK. So we've had to postpone it. Um, this yeah, is a bit upsetting, of course, but basically uh, we're going to postpone it for about a year, which gives me a year to earn that money to pay for the wedding. So it means I have a little bit more money to invest, which is great because my other two websites, these are the ones that I outsource to writers uh, who are locally based in Taiwan. So I probably have another maybe six thousand US dollars to invest depending on whether my wife lets me uh, so let's talk about site 2 then so uh, with site 2 um, it's got 34 posts on it at the moment uh, so it's got 20 response posts which would have taken about 40 hours to write staple posts there are nine of those about 36 hours Pillar posts only five at the moment, that's 40 hours of writing time, which gives us a total of about 116 hours. And roughly, I've spent about $545 on the response posts, about $408 on the staple posts, and about $317 on the pillar posts, which is a, a total of around $1,271. Now, I don't have a YouTube channel for this one, and it's only really got a few Amazon links on it. It's not made me any money. And um, this is seeing a lot of slow progress. And to be honest, I've taken my focus off this site. Uh, it's something that, now looking at the, uh, the figures today, I may go back and invest a little bit more money into this site. But uh, the issues I had were, I rushed the search analysis, I didn't do a very good job. Uh, there are far too many of the queries I'm going for that are being um, taken by things like the wedding wire and the knot and um, even, um, oh, I can't remember her name now, but um, oh, Martha Stewart's uh, wedding website. So I didn't really know who the big boys were when I started this, uh, so I totally failed in a certain extent totally failed with my search analysis. I've got a few winners but I think I need to spend a bit more time on this site which I might do down the line but let's just have a look at the figures for this one. Okay so you can see in the past month I've only had 349 visitors total of which 271 were actual organic searches so that's about a 77 percent um, organic search rate which is not too bad for a website, a website like this um, but still it's a lot lower than the first website and as we'll see it's a lot lower than the third website. Um, if we just compare though this to last month so you can see that where we've got a March uh, 2020 compared to February 2020 and again if we have a look the actual all users have gone up by about 275% and the organic searches went from 61 to 271. So it is actually um, making some progress. It's actually gone up a little bit. Well, I should say a lot. Um, so I think perhaps that there's still potential with this site. It's just I need to go back and look at that search analysis and really put a bit more effort into this one. 
but I'm a little bit reluctant to, um, as I thought, throw good money after bad because I have invested a, a you know a fair chunk of money into this, but I still think this could this could bring in a profit down the line. Uh, I've just got to commit a little bit more of my resources and time to it. Okay, so let's talk about site three. So with site three, I've been focusing a little bit more of my outsourcing uh, efforts into this. So this is why I've got 42 posts here, uh, of which 19 are response posts, so about 35 hours writing time. 15 are staple, which is about 60 hours of writing time. And eight pillar posts, so about 64 hours of writing time. So that's a total of 162 hours it would take you uh, if you follow the income school post recipe to actually um, produce that amount of posts. So the costs, um, I spent about 517 on the response posts, 680 on the staple posts and 508 on the pillar posts. So a total of around $1,706. Uh, so a little bit more investment in this one compared to site two. Uh, again, I don't have a YouTube channel uh, for this one yet. It's obviously something that I should explore. Um, and again, it's got a few Amazon links on it. I've also tried to find other affiliate um, products for this one, affiliate links, because this is more of a service industry. So Amazon's not gonna work so well here. There are a few items I can suggest, but not too many. Um, so this one's quite a surprising. So remember, this is almost exactly the same age as Site2. Um, I got the writers for them around the same time. They were launched within days of each other. Um, but if we look at the page views, okay, so for March, I got a total of 972 users for this site, of which 918 were organic. So I'm getting a 94% organic search rate on this. It's quite impressive, I think. Um, and the time on page is sort of about four and a half minutes, five minutes. Um, although it, it does seem to have a quite a high bounce rate, but obviously that's not too much of an issue. For this site, I would say I'm winning quite a few of the queries I went for. I, I seem to have found a bit of a, a crack in the market, or I just did search analysis a little bit better for this. Um, but it's a big difference if you compare 917 users to 349 um, for a site of the same age. So that really tells you that some niches will grow more quickly than others. So if you're um, getting a lot of traffic early on in your site, that's brilliant, great for you. You've, you've just, uh, you've lucked out on the niche. If it's taking a little bit more time, it may be your search analysis. It may just be the niche. Okay, so for site three, if we talk about um, just comparing this month to last month, so um, it's gone up by about 100% in page views across the board, so from 478 to 972. Um, if you look at the organic uh, page views, it went from 386 to 918. Um, so that's quite a big jump. If it carries on like that, I'll, I think I'll be very happy about it. Um, but as you can see, um, in organic traffic, I seem to have taken a bit of a hit with the time on page. So it's going from um, seven minutes and 17 seconds down to four minutes and 44. Um, so I, I don't know what that means really. I suppose perhaps because I've had more users, maybe it's diluting the figures. I, I don't know really. Something, of course, I need to look at and uh, pay attention to. Okay, so let's just talk about the, the money because I am making some money from uh, site one. So let's look at the money I've made from Amazon. So in the last 30 days from Amazon.com, uh, I've had 119 clicks, nine items have been ordered, of which six have been shipped. So there are three um, orders that are missing from this at the moment. Um, so I've made $9.32 here, but I think there's probably about another one to three dollars coming in. So I've just gone over the $10 mark here and Pretty much all of those clicks and all of those, well, all of the sales certainly are from site one and pretty much all the clicks. There's probably maybe fewer than 20 clicks from the other two sites. 
and also I, I made some sales on Amazon.co.uk so um, I made a whopping £1.22 from uh, the UK store which um, is probably what about uh, one one and a half dollars one dollars fifty cents so in total I'm just under fifteen dollars for this month which is not bad as I as I keep saying it proves the theory it does work all I've got to do is to chuck more traffic at it and the other thing I would say is that I finally uh, figured out my issue of getting paid uh, because so I live in Taiwan and obviously getting paid by uh, amazon.co.uk or amazon.com um, so I'm just getting paid through a Payoneer account and uh, they, they've transferred about $15 into it at the beginning of the month so there's no issue it, it seems to work and uh, so if this is something you've been thinking about and you're not living in the States or the UK go with a Payoneer account it does work okay so that's just a little update for my three sites and I just want to make it very clear that yes I have outsourced some of the content but what I haven't done I haven't spent any time promoting the sites so all those page views that you've seen that's just people finding me naturally through Google so it hasn't cost me anything to advertise I haven't wasted any time trying to build backlinks um, so it's really down to the income school method now if you don't know anything about the income school and you've made it this far let me just tell you that project 24 is a really really useful course that I'm a member of and Jim Harmer and Ricky Kessler over at income school they've set it up and it takes you through step by step exactly what to do to build a website from nothing to one that starts earning you money and if you just follow those instructions you groundhog it keep working at it day after day and eventually you're going to start seeing some progress and you're going to start seeing some income if you're interested in doing that at all then go to the description below and click on the link and you will be taken to the webinar that explains everything so just be aware it is an affiliate link and if you choose to buy through my link I do get a commission but that is money that I can put right back into my business so I really do appreciate your support thanks very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give me a like if you found this an interesting video and I will see everyone next week